Welcome to this Harp E Basics episode about the Harp E electronics. The electronics inside the Harp E are the same principle as the now famous Delta Harp. So a continuous pickup all along all the strings of the harp that is self-shielding and gives you a very clean and powerful sound across the board. There is a preamp built into the harp that makes sure that the harp E is compatible with any kind of sound system and a huge variety of speakers and, and guitar amplifiers and effect pedals and uh, stage equipment and studio equipment. The external electronics are not included in the harp E package because everyone has such different needs in that field. Here we are showing you the most basic setup which is a very simple amp, in this case a 40 euro Marshall Park guitar amp. Any standard guitar amp with a gain control would work perfectly well. Uh, the best results you will get with an acoustic amplifier, for instance the AER Domino series, but they're more pricey. So we have our amp uh, connected to the Harp E with a lead that is a mono jack to mono jack uh, lead. It's the plug with one little stripe. Please be aware that the stereo jack, so with two stripes, will not work. In between your amp and your Harp E you can add effect pedals as well. That works in exactly the same way with mono jack to mono jack uh, leads and you connect any kind of chain of effect pedals that you would like. More on effects pedals in our other videos. Now let's have a closer look at the Harp E preamp interface. Now the first thing to note is that the jack plug is also the on and off switch of the preamp unit, meaning that if you're done playing the Harp E, you should unplug it so that the battery doesn't drain. Plugging it in will switch on the electronics of the Harp. Now once plugged in, a little light will flash every five seconds to indicate battery level. White is full, amber is mid-empty and red is empty. Now, if for some reason you do not wish to have this light flashing every five seconds, there is another mode built into the electronics. You have to insert the plug in uh, rapid succession for three times, and then a green light will show to indicate that you've now entered the other mode in which there is no flashing. Repeat this to go back to the original mode. Last tip, uh, we highly, highly recommend using a jack lead that has an angled plug, like shown in this video. Uh, to prevent damage to electronics if you trip over the wire. Mm -hmm. 